Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. Click and Fix. Today I'll be guiding you through the process of clean installing the latest version of Windows 11 even on unsupported hardware. Whether you're looking for a breath of new life into your older PC or just want a fresh start, I've got you covered. Let's jump right in. So first of all, we're going to be needing to download the Windows 11 ISO from the Microsoft website. So what we do is go ahead and open up Google Chrome and search for Windows 11. Now the first link over there which says download Windows 11 is the one that you need. Click on it. And as you can see, you can see the Windows 11 version out there. And based on that, you should be able to figure out which one you need. So now you have a few options there and if you have a device that runs on ARM processors you will have to use it from the link over there and if not you can go ahead and continue with the same process of selecting the multi edition one and click on download now now for the product language you can go ahead with English International confirm it and after that you should be able to download the 64-bit download over there so click on 64-bit download and I'm gonna save it to the desktop and save it so let it complete downloading just wait for the download to finish I'm just gonna fast forward it for you now the next thing that you need is the Rufus software that is used to make it bootable so go ahead and type in Rufus and download the Rufus exe file that's a small file it should be fast enough to download and I'm gonna put it to the same location where I downloaded the ISO so when you have both the files downloaded you have to double click on the Rufus to open it and then for this part you need a USB that is more than 8 gigs in space to make it bootable so I have a 16 GB one I'm going to insert I've inserted that as you can see the USB I've inserted is 16 gigs over there now select the button select over there and click on the ISO file that you've downloaded before the Windows 11 file and now you should be able to load the thing up there and it's just gonna scan the image just give it some time yep now you can see everything is set up automatically over there all you have to do is click on start now this is the place where which is very important for you to install on unsupported hardware to install on unsupported hardware you'll have to select the first option and if you don't want to use a Microsoft account you can go ahead with the second option I'm gonna set up everything before so the installation process is easier towards the end and it doesn't take much time so I'm practically using all the options out here to make my life easier later now make sure you back up everything that's on your pen drive so that it can erase it completely now it's gonna do the process itself so I'm just gonna let you watch the thing but I'm going to just forward it so you don't have to wait for it now once that is done you have to make sure that you have backed up everything on your PC so that when you clean install all your data will be gone from the laptop or PC so make sure you back up so for that you can always uh, use the use an external hard drive that's available so you can find an external hard drive on Amazon so it should be available on Amazon just go ahead and type in for external hard disk 1TB so that should be enough space for anything that's on your laptop unless you're a creator or you tend to store a lot more than you need you know so you can buy one off Amazon if you want and once everything is ready you can boot up into your laptop using the BIOS key combinations which is usually like function 2 once you have it booted up you should find something called advanced mode 
go ahead and make sure USB man storage is enabled on it and make sure security sorry secure boot is disabled so these are the two options that you should make sure that it's available and after that you can bring the boot priority to your USB drive that's bootable so once you have that set when you reboot the laptop you should be able to boot directly into the USB drive that you have kept inserted which has Windows 11 on it you know so I'm just gonna go into easy mode and select boot mode and I should be able to boot directly without changing any settings so I'm gonna so again these BIOS options tend to vary uh, from PC to PC so make sure you have it set up and boot into the USB once you boot you should be able to see the Windows screen of installation like this now you just have to select the language and the time format I'm just gonna go with UK because that's the one that I have on my laptop because my laptop is based on based on the UK so I'm just gonna select that there you go next now install or repair so I'm just gonna go with install and click next now you will have to give it some time to get things ready for you but once you have those things ready you should be able to see the license and terms so accept those terms over there well if you do want to read it through go ahead feel free to read it through but next and then you have to select where you want to install the windows 11 and which part of the disk so make sure that you install it only on unallocated one as you can see there are disk 0 for me and disk 1 disk 1 is the USB drive and this zero is the hard disk that's already on the laptop so I'm gonna delete all the partition from this zero and make it as one allocated unallocated space so I can install windows in there make sure you don't delete your uh, disk one out there which is like it could be any number but make sure that you don't delete your partition on the USB drive instead now all you have to do is just select delete partition and I'm deleting all the disk zero ones so now you see it's just one unallocated partition out there which is for to zero so once it's ready you click on next and it's gonna install and keep nothing on the PC so feel free to click on install again make sure everything is backed up I'm just gonna fast forward it for you until the installation is complete so you don't have to watch that now you can go ahead and set up windows now since we made bootable USB with all the settings prior you should be able to directly go into the setup most of the things are already set up for you I'm just going to connect to the Wi-Fi so that the setup can check for updates if any available and make sure your Windows 11 is like the latest available now I'm just gonna click next now see it's checking for updates and at this point you're not going to be logging into anything because you've chosen to use a local account oh there you go once you have everything set up you should be able to browse through your windows you can go into settings and windows update and check for updates to make sure if any drivers that are available for your particular system are installed as well so if everything is installed you can go through all the options security and see if you want to modify anything and inside apps if you go to installed apps you should be able to see a list of pre-installed applications out there which you don't need you can uninstall them which makes your windows even much more free from blockware so I hope you guys like the video. Thanks for watching guys. Please do like and subscribe.